morning, guys. Michael Breen with EV West, and today we're going to talk about some charge stations. On the table in front of me, we have the latest offering of the Level 2 charge stations. Level 2 means it operates at 220 volts, so it's going to give you the fastest charge time for your electric vehicle. We're going to start over here with the Bosch station. This is one of our favorites. It's a really price performance leader. This particular unit runs at 30 amps, but we also have a 16 amp version. We just kind of wanted to take these out of the package and be able to show you what they look like and their relative different sizes compared to each other. It's a little tough to kind of see that when you're just looking at a picture on the website. So here's the Bosch unit. It's got a front holster. We really like that. And it also has a built-in cord holder in the case. So when you're not using your charger, you're just going to take the cord and wrap it around the case. Now this particular unit doesn't come with a plug and it doesn't come with a pigtail. So what I'm going to show you is right here on the back, there's a junction box. What you do is you bring up your voltage cord right through here, through the bottom, and you just kind of screw it onto these terminal screws in there. So it's really easy. You can hardwire this into a junction box on your wall, or you can go down to Home Depot and buy like a standard L630 plug, 650 plug. And uh, so it's a real versatile unit, not very feature rich. About the only thing you can do with the Bosch is turn it on and turn it off. All right, so moving on down the line, here we have the Clipper Creek. This is uh, one of the smallest level two charge stations on the market. You can see it right here. I've got 20 feet of cord wrapped around it and a plug, and it's still incredibly small, very lightweight. We have a lot of customers that like taking these with them because they have the mobility and maybe they have a, an outlet at work and maybe an outlet at their friend's house that they can charge. Uh, so it's really easy to just throw this in the trunk of your car and go with it. Not very many features, just some status lights on the front of it um, with your standard connector and again the little wrap deal here. And uh, this comes in three different versions. We sell a version with a pigtail, so you can hardwire it into the wall. And then we sell a NEMA 630 and a 1430, so two different variations. A lot of the construction guys like the 630. It's a twist lock cord, um, you know, got tons of those laying around. So that's the Clipper Creek. This is the LCP 25. One other thing to mention, uh, this uh, is only rated at 20 amps continuous. So Really, this is only going to work on the Leafs and the Volts and the Focus EV that has the 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger. Anything greater than that, you really need a 30 amp rated unit to get that maximum uh, charge, charge current. Uh, this is one of the biggest ones we sell. This is the Siemens, but we really like this one. Super feature rich char charge station. Uh, it's a 30 amp rated charge station. It comes with the NEMA uh, plug built into it. So it comes with the, uh, I think this is the 1450. Uh, we call them welders plugs around here. Uh, on the front here, you have two buttons. You have one for on and off, and then you also have a timer delay button, which is really convenient. We know a lot of the new cars have this, the Volt and the Leaf, where you can do a time of day billing and have it turn on after midnight for your cheapest electric rates. But this is very easy. You can walk up to it, let's say it's eight o'clock, in the evening, press the button twice, it gives you a four hour delay, and you're certain that your charger is going to turn on at midnight and not leave you stuck in the morning. This also has a front holster. We really like uh, the charge stations that have front holsters. If you, if you mount this outside in the weather, uh, it's going to keep the connectors clean and kind of keep them out of the snow and the rain and whatnot. I'm going to pull this out to show you a couple features here. On the inside, we have an adjustable input current, and this is really good for houses that uh, have older uh, wiring in the walls and you might not be able to upgrade your electrical as easy. You can just turn down your current to match the current of the unit to your current of the wall, and that's a real money saver if you don't want to go and do a bunch of rewiring in your house. They also have a couple inputs here for a remote control status indicator and a remote control shutoff. So you could run these inside your house if you wanted to look at the status of your charge or turn the charge off or turn the charge on remotely. So that's kind of a neat little feature if you wanted to take advantage of that. This also comes in two different versions. They have a version where the plug comes out the bottom and they have a version where it goes through this little connector here and it goes out the back. There's not a whole lot of difference between them and you could actually get a bottom version and feed it through the back or vice versa. So they're, they're kind of the same. Uh, they just kind of pre-drill the hole for you so it's a little bit of a convenience feature. So that's the Siemens. One, one last thing about this, it's kind of neat. They call this the halo, this little clear part up here. And they have some LEDs on the inside and they're dual color. So they'll flash red and green um, and you can program it to, to change colors when it's charging. So that's kind of one of those neat little things. You got your brand new electric car in the garage. And you got the space age thing with the halo kind of blinking and glowing at you. There's something kind of neat about that. 
And finally, this is our, our most recent entry. This is the brand new unit from Clipper Creek. It's the HCS40. It's a 30 amp rated unit. Um, we really like this one. It has a lot of advantages over some of the other guys. Um, it's not feature rich, but for the price and the features you get, this is probably the leader. Uh, Clipper Creek makes their stuff in the United States, so it's really nice. It's made here in the States, and this comes with a three-year warranty. So uh, it's got the longest warranty of all the units that we sell. And this one right now is retailing for $590. So, uh, and it comes with a 25-foot charge cord. So for the features and the benefits that this gives you, it is the best value of all the units that we sell. So I'm just gonna kind of go across them again. Here we have the Clipper Creek, we have a 25 foot charge cord. This is the hardwire version, and this only comes in a hardwire version. There's no plugged version. As you can see, they give you a three foot pigtail, so there's plenty of distance on here. You can put your own plug on it, or you can wire this directly into your junction box. So, a lot of versatility. This is a great unit. We actually have a video on our website of the Clipper Creek guys uh, hitting this with a baseball bat. And if you can believe it or not, they broke a baseball bat and a hammer on the case and couldn't even crack the case. So for that reason, we really like this. Unit's really lightweight and portable too. Uh, and again, 25 foot charge cord. Not sure if I mentioned that before. So this gives you one of the largest, uh, longest charge cords. Plus it gives you 30 full amps. It has a 40 amp breaker. So it gives you the maximum current, the longest cord, the longest warranty of any of them in the bunch. It just lacks a couple of the features that the Siemens has. Uh, the Siemens comes uh, with a 25 foot cord also, so it's got the longer cord, it has the delay timer, um, and it has the adjustable in input current as well. So you got a couple more features on the Siemens, and it comes with a built-in plug. So if you're going to put a plug on it, that'll save you about $25. Uh, the smaller Clipper Creek, 20 foot charge cord, uh, 25 amp breaker, 20 amps continuous. Um, so it's, it's a little bit more of the value guy. These, uh, with the plug, these sell for $550 without the plug, it's $500 for the hardwire version. And again, the Bosch, this comes in two separate versions. We have a version with an 18 foot charge cord and we have a version with a 25 foot charge cord. Uh, the price point model on this one is 593 with the 18 foot charge cord. Uh, we're daily drivers of EVs here and we really recommend getting the longest cord you can. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've pulled up to the house and maybe uh, my mountain bike was out front and I couldn't quite pull the car all the way into the garage and I had to go back, get in the car and inch it forward a foot or two to make the cord reach the car. Uh, it can be a little inconvenient. So we always tell customers, if you can get it, if you can afford it, get a charge station with the longest cord possible. We really like the 25 footers. So that's about it. These are some of the latest offerings in level two charge stations. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to e uh, email us at support at evwest.com and we'll get right back to you. Any questions you have, we're really good with matching the right charger to the right electric vehicle for each individual's particular situation. Some people have time of day billing and the Siemens works really good. Some people have a cord in their garage already with the plug and so this is really good because it's mobile. Um, this is a really good trooper. This is great for outdoor use. It's NEMA 4 rated on the case. So it's uh, good for snow and weather and freezing and all that stuff. So there's kind of a wide variety here. I think that about wraps it up. My name is Michael Bream. I'm with